What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Ed Gasket. This is the Audi R8 we've been working on for the last month or so. In the last video, Vinny welded in our cross member. I'm gonna call it a cross member for now on and not a frame rail because frame rail, that makes you think that there's frame damage and if somebody wants to buy this car, frame damage just doesn't make you feel good on the inside. That cross member has been welded in and it's now time to bolt on a bunch of new suspension components that are hopefully somewhere in a box. So the next step in getting our Audi back on the road is just bolting on the suspension. This is what Audi calls a wishbone. And I don't have to do any more welding to get this thing back together, which means between where we are right now, this very moment, and driving our car, oh my God, is just a whole bunch of nuts and bolts. The problem is, these are all the old nuts and bolts and I don't wanna recycle them. I'd rather replace them with brand new hardware. After a vehicle's in an accident and this area becomes damaged, I don't like to reuse anything that was involved in the accident. So new hardware, unfortunately, somehow is coming from Germany and there's delays, shipping delays. If you haven't heard of any of those, then you've lived under a rock or a broken R8. The closest dealer that has them is about 450 miles away and they only had a select few of these things. So they'd have to order everything. Now. I've already ordered all this stuff and been hit with the emails that said, sorry, your order is delayed because of global problems. And in the meantime, we have to go get wheels and tires. In one of these boxes is a new wheel. I think that is rear suspension. This is an old wheel, whoa. I'll get you an up close view. This thing was racked. So can't use that again. I don't think we can use the tire either. So I'm gonna buy new tires for this thing. This looks like it's a wheel. So let me get this thing up. Wow, much lighter than the other wheel. I guess the tire accounts for most of the weight. Hopefully my address isn't somewhere right here. If it is, send me something cool, like tires. All right, so we're gonna unbox this thing so I can take it over to a tire warehouse where they can mount some new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. They're about $500 a piece, and I'm really excited to buy them. Wow, check this out. One, two, three, voila. So this white rim is just some foam. It's actually a completely bronze wheel with some black hardware. I have to get this thing mounted, so let's get these loaded up in my vehicle and drive over to a place that sells tires. Thousand bucks for two tires. Only getting two because the two rear tires are a different size than the two front tires. And I don't wanna mix and match. I'm just cheap, I don't wanna buy four tires. All right guys, we're at the wheel shop. We're gonna order two Michelin tires. I'm gonna give them the broken wheel to get the TPS sensor out of, TPMS sensor. Put it in the new wheel that we ordered. And then for some reason, the passenger side rear wheel wasn't holding air, so I'm gonna have them swap that tire as well. That way we have two brand new tires on the back of this R8. So we'll let them get to work and then I'll meet you back in the shop.
Guys, believe it or not, it's officially time to start this R8 and take it on its first test drive. We've started it before, but we've never driven this car, or at least driven it over like two miles per hour. So the next move is to get in the driver's seat and start it up, sort of. Guys, if you ever put a car back together or anything that had about 50 or more pieces, you know how sensitive the order of operations is. This piece right here needs to go way down below the airbox to connect the airbox to the intake that wraps around the side of the car. I can't put it in right now, I missed my opportunity. So I have to take this airbox back apart, put it in, and then reassemble everything that you just watched. Of course, I'm not gonna make you watch that part because you don't wanna see that part. You wanna see this car start. And some of you wanna see this car start and then watch the engine explode because some people are here to watch others spend a bunch of money and then have it all go cahoots at the last minute. And for those people, y'all are psychopaths. I will, however, ask you to watch me install this new air intake as well as a new tail light and tail light mount. Because apparently if you film yourself installing these parts, then these parts can be deducted on your tax return. If you know anything about that, please leave a comment below because I know nothing about that. Dudes, it's time to start and drive our car. Shouldn't assume everybody watching this is a dude. Dudes and lady dudes, it's time to start our car. Ooh, feel really bad starting this car and driving it, taking it on our first test drive when the interior looks like a disaster. So give me like one minute and we will clean the interior of this car and then shut it all down, pop the garage door and take our Audi R8 for its first test drive. Why does everything hurt when I move fast? All right, sweatshirt's on because I don't know if the heat works in this car. It's about 31 degrees outside. And this is it. It being the first startup and first real test drive for our repaired 2008 Audi R8. Where's the key? Still have these things in 2008. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I haven't actually tested reverse yet. I'm in reverse and the reverse camera's on. It's pointed in the complete wrong direction because I have it zip tied up in the back. I think reverse is engaged. Let me stop. Let me let out the clutch in reverse. Oh yeah, she'll go. All right, reverse works. Oh, oh, almost stalled. Okay, first gear, letting out the clutch. Oh, the lights are off. Now it's just that spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, get it? First gear, shift to second. Second works. Oh, you hear the trans? Clinky. All right, we're in third. Third works. I don't have insurance on this car and it's not registered and it's not very legal. Oh, we're still in third. What if I punch it? Neighbors probably won't like that. Oh, it sounds good. Doing 10 miles per hour in third gear. My Jetta would never do this. Carbon steering wheel feels really nice, thick. Girthy steering wheel, girthy carbon, carbon girth. I like driving this car. This is a nice car. First gear maybe, kind of punch it a little bit. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Yo, this car's sick. I need to get it up to running temperature so I can check the oil. That's important. Don't let me forget to check the oil. Oh, I can't wait to finish this car. <laughs> My neighbors think I'm absolutely nuts. There's no quarter panel on the car. There's no runner board, if that's the word. There's no rear bumper. There is 420 horsepower though. Dude, this car is sweet. And I'm honestly just really happy. Actually, let's go on the main road. 
should not do this. Yeah, I shouldn't do this, but we're going to do it. All right, no copperonis? No copperonis. All right. Let's open her up a little bit. Give her the beans. Holy shoot. Oh my God. Oh, we got to finish this car. We got to get this thing painted and registered and paid for and all the things that come with owning a car. I don't know if I felt four wheel burnout there or if that was just all the loose bolts from the suspension work that I did. Dude. All right, let's get this thing back in the garage. Let's check the oil. Yo, this thing is so cool. I hate to say it. I think this is a cooler car than the 911. Gated, sounds neat. Probably doesn't sound that good on the microphone, but it's the clinky noise is kind of neat. It just has an updated feel. My 911 was a 1999, so it didn't have the same, you know what I'm saying? Same freshy feel. Dude, this could be a daily driver. This is gonna be a daily driver. This should not be a daily driver. I can't afford to drive this daily. Check the oil, make sure there's no fluids leaking out on the floor. Little low going in the driveway. I love this car. Yep, I love this car. I think we're gonna keep it. I think we're gonna sell it. We're probably gonna keep it. We should sell it. Dude, if you are like friends with me, like friends with me, you need to drive this car. You need to reach out to me and drive this car. So I'm pretty sure when you check the oil on these cars, you have to have it idle for two minutes on a flat surface like we just did. And that allows the, well, actually, I always start saying things that I don't know I don't know how it works. It's a dry sump, it's gotta fill the tank, and then it's gotta be level, and then you pull the dipstick and check the oil. So let's do that. So when you pull the dipstick out, of course, like any car, well, there's oil in it, that's good. Kinda of got it everywhere. Uh, you just wanna wipe off the first round, cause who knows what was splashing. Pretty short dipstick. Now, put it in all the way down, pull it out, what do we see? Looks like it's just above the do not fill line. I think that's where it's supposed to be. This doesn't say, it just says fill and do not fill. You think it would say like fill and then full. Like is it supposed to be right on that little line? Either way, we're just into the do not fill line, which means I believe that this car has enough oil in it, which is good news. Now we can't unscrew the coolant cap yet because if you unscrew a reservoir while it's hot, it'll explode in your face. So although that's good for, oh shoot. I didn't expect it to unscrew. Um, good for viewership, bad for the eyes, ears, and face, and the rest of your life. So let's let this thing cool down. We'll check the coolant to make sure it's up to par. If it's not, I'll just fill it up to par, and then I'll tell you it was up to par so that nobody tells me that this thing needs like head gaskets or something. So let's um, celebrate. Guys, our Audi R8 runs and drives. It starts, it backs up, it goes forward, it shifts through at least three of the gears, which we were able to get to three. Yeah, we got three gears in the neighborhood. It drives relatively straight. We don't know how effective our repair was because there's no real good way of testing like the integrity of the suspension that I'm aware of with a test drive. But what I can tell you is that the wheel is still on the car and the welds that Vinny was able to perform, yep, they're still there. So, oh, also really cool. I was grocery shopping and I found this little car and my wife bought it for me. It's an Audi R8. It's black and white, just like our edition. It doesn't have the bronze wheels. I might make some sort of update to this thing so that I have a small version and a large version of a really cool car. Guys, if you're interested in following this car to its finish line, what that really means is that we have to paint the rear end of the car, put all the components back together, and get this thing on the road legally. That will mean a safety inspection, enhanced safety inspection, a regular safety inspection for the state of Pennsylvania. It means paying a bunch of taxes on this car so that they will allow me to register it, get a license plate, and put these Pennsylvania approval stickers on the front so it says that I paid my dues. Also, this right here is what metal looks like when you leave it outside in New Jersey. Guys, the last step in this build is to simply put it back together, make sure all the body panels line up, and then paint and clear coat everything. I might also have to put some clear bra on to match the rest of the vehicle, but this thing's just about finished. Probably one or two more videos to go before this thing hits the road legally 100%. Now it's still the middle of the winter here and I would like to at least have this car into the springtime and the summer so we can enjoy it a little bit before we move on to our next project. I may pick up another new project before this one leaves, but at least this one won't occupy a space in the garage. We can pull it out in the driveway and my wife can tell me that's exactly what she told me not to do was buy two projects at once, but she's really nice and 
I love her.